LeBron, are you going to be the one that comes up short? That is a challenge. Victory is a necessity. Victory is in my destiny. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to First Take, your take exclusively on Facebook Watch. Thank you for being with us on this Feel Good Friday. So on Monday's show, we posed the question, where should LeBron play next season? And now we welcome in this week's winner, Luca Rosano of Toronto, Canada. Luca, welcome into First Take, your take. Thanks for being with us. How's it going, guys? Thanks so much for having me. Big fan of yours over here from Toronto, Canada. Can't wait to do this and go at the king, the legend himself, Stephen A. Smith. Love it. Hey, listen, I, hey, listen, I, don't worry about going after me. I'm I'm honored to be here. I didn't know I was international like this. <laughs> I mean, they loving me in Canada now. I like this. I like this. I can get used to this, bro. Uh, I get used to this. Worldwide Stevie A. All right, guys, let's do it. Let's have some fun. The topic here. So, Luca, you said LeBron should stay in Cleveland. Please tell us why. I think LeBron should stay with the Cavaliers. It's simple to me because if he leaves again, I think his legacy is going to be remembered as a guy who chased rings and jumped teams. And let's just say he does jump ship and, you know, he comes up empty-handed. I think he's going to look like an absolute fool. And hear me out. We always talk about LeBron James chasing Michael Jordan for the GOAT status. That's not GOAT status to me if he takes the easy way out, joins a super team or creates his own super team and wins rings that way. Also, why would he even leave the Eastern Conference? He's made it to the finals the last seven times in a row. Could be eight. The series against the Celtics isn't over. And his path would be much easier than if he were to join the Lakers, who Stephen A. Smith said in his piece, in the West. I mean, who do you got to look forward to next year? Okay, you're going to have the Celtics with Hayward, Kyrie Irving. Philly might be there if they get a, a big piece. But if I'm LeBron James, I'd rather be four wins away from a championship and make it to an NBA Finals than have to deal with the Western Conference. I mean, you have the uprising Utah Jazz. Of course, you have the Golden State Warriors and the Houston Rockets. And the San Antonio Spurs are always going to be there. So when it's all said and done, I think LeBron James's legacy will take a hit in a negative way if he leaves again to chase rings and take the easy way out. I mean... It will make for a great story if he can win championships with this current Cavaliers team and, you know, bring more championships to Cleveland in improbable, hard-fought ways instead of taking the easy way out. So I, I, that's why I believe LeBron should stay in Cleveland and continue uh, to grow his legacy. Well, first of all, you've already lost this debate before it even started. A, because you picked the wrong person to debate. I have never been one echoing the sentiment that LeBron James is chasing the GOAT because as far as I'm concerned, it's a GOAT he'll never catch. That's Max Kellerman. Number two, in your soliloquy about all of these teams in the Eastern Conference, you represent Canada, didn't even mention the one Canadian team, which is the Toronto Raptors, who just lost in the semifinals. That's number two. Number three, if the, if the Philadelphia 76 is a team Teams like that are able to acquire assets in the offseason. Why should LeBron James stay in Cleveland? Ain't nobody trying to come there anymore. Number four, when you talk about the path of easiest resistance, he's been doing it for seven years now. Why bother with an eighth? He's already done it, okay? And so at, such, at, such, at some point in time, your time runs out in terms, of, in terms of using the same formula for success. Staying in the Eastern Conference, okay, what can he accomplish by staying with the Cleveland Cavaliers? Yeah, the path to, the, to prosperity might be a bit easier in the East rather than out West. But we've all caught on to that. We see that that's something that he's been doing. So what's wrong with new challenges, particularly when you're 33 years of age, in your 15th season, universally recognized as the best? And oh, by the way, you have an opportunity to avoid Lake Erie in favor of the sunshine, the palm trees, Tinseltown, La La, and everything that comes with it. As far as I'm concerned, when you have done what he has done, when you have accomplished what he has accomplished, there is only one thing. One thing in life that gets you to percolate, step up, and embrace things. And those are challenges. And consider this challenge, Luca. If he were to go to Los Angeles wearing the purple and gold, do you know what everybody would ask? Every single marquee name that has played in the purple and gold has delivered a chip. LeBron, are you going to be the one that comes up short? That is a challenge. And that is a challenge that I think he should embrace with magic at the helm 
and a guy like Paul George, who I believe would come with them instead, or, unless he decides to go to Philly. First of all, it's not about where you're living. It's about winning championships. And I just want to say, you having him true. join the Lakers, I think that's the worst scenario. The Lakers, a lot of good things have to happen for that new super team to emerge. Who's going to come over? Okay, Paul George. Are we going to get the Indiana Pacers version of Paul George or the guy who disappeared in the first round of the playoffs against the Utah Jazz? Also, you mentioned in your piece, six. Kawhi Leonard. Hold on, How Luca. are we going to get Kawhi game Leonard six. with the talent they have now? Game six. Paul George disappeared he, in game six. He, he, he did he, not disappear he, he, that series. That one game. Collectively, he didn't have a good series. He didn't have a good series. And lastly, you want him to go to the Lakers? You know who's going to be up in his ear? And the guy who's always talking nonsense? LeVar Ball. Oh. And the last time I checked, LeVar oh, Ball please. and LeBron James have their fair please. share of issues. LeVar Ball oh, talked about what LeBron it. James did. And I'm young. I'm young. You can oh, tell I'm please. young. And I know you never talk Nobody's about a Nobody's paying no attention to LeVar Ball right now. I'm staying Nobody's facts. paying attention to LeVar Ball right, right now. He, listen, you don't think LeVar, LeVar Ball's Ball, going to be all I like, in his I, I like LeVar Ball. Hold on, hold on. I like LeVar Ball. I like him a lot, me personally. I think he's a fun-loving kind of guy. Uh, but I think he needs to be concerned about Lonzo. That's number one. Number two, it's not that hard, Luca. If LeBron comes, chances are Paul George or a star may end up coming with them. I like some of the Lakers' young pieces. I like what I saw from Julius Randle this year coming off the bench. I like what I saw from Kuzma, who made the all-rookie team. Brandon Ingram needs to get in the weight room, but he's got a lot of promise as well. And so when you look at the rest of the Western Conference, and if you add LeBron and another player to that, I don't think it's far-fetched to assume that the Lakers could be in the conference finals next year if LeBron and Paul George went to the Lakers. Other than the Golden State Warriors or the Houston Rockets, one of them potentially falling off, by the way, who would be standing in their way? Listen, I don't. if he is going to go out west, he would. the obvious choice is what Max said. You would join the Houston Rockets. Now, they got to figure out ways in which sure. they can work out him coming over, but sure. he would be joining the 65-win team. You already got a super team in place. Why would you run the risk of creating another super team, run the risk of coming up empty-handed and further tarnishing your legacy. If you are going to make that big, bold of a move, you go to a team who's playing in a Western Conference Finals right now, and which is one win away from getting to an NBA Finals. I don't like the whole I don't idea think LeBron, with LA. I don't think LeBron can hurt his legacy. I don't think LeBron can hurt his legacy. I just think that he can't help it any more than he already has. But I don't see him hurting his legacy because you can't hold on, you can't take away seven straight trips to the NBA Finals, three rings, four league MVPs, and in his 15th year in the NBA, still being recognized as the best player in the world. I don't think he could hurt his legacy, but so much, in my opinion. You're right about Houston. The only reason I haven't mentioned Houston is because I had the Rockets tell me that bringing him on board wasn't a priority because they have their team and they think they can win it with who they have. But all I'm saying is that's why I pushed Houston out of the mix because of the potpourri of changes they would have to make. The Lakers don't have to make any changes to get LeBron's. They just have to scoop him up and somebody else to add to what they already have. That's the only reason I put L.A. above Houston. All right, guys, we're out but of again, time. A lot of Go ahead, last word here, Luca. Oh, well, I just want to say, yeah, a lot of good things have to happen. This season isn't over yet. So, Stephen A. Smith and LeBron James wins a championship. I think he will stay. And if he does win a championship this season, you need to come on my YouTube channel and tell me that I was right. And you know what? He will stay with the Cavaliers. It's right and best for his legacy. Thanks for having me. You didn't say he would stay. You said it would be the best decision for him to stay. I didn't hear you predict that he would stay. I'm, I'm saying that right now. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't debating that. I don't know what the hell he's going to do. Because LeBron probably doesn't know what he's going to do He right could now. hurt well, his he... legacy tonight if he loses to a Celtics team without Gordon Hayward or Kyrie Irving. That's all I know right now in this moment, gentlemen. And it is going to be fun. Luca, it was so good to have you. Thank you so much. Big good fan job. of the city of Toronto. I got a lot of family up there. And uh, uh, I will come on your Lots YouTube channel lovely. if Stephen Very A. doesn't lovely. come on, okay? I'll be your consolation prize. Thanks so I'd much, guys. On. We I'd love you on. here in Canada. Okay. We appreciate you. Thank you so much.